I, I mean, I always love supernatural shows like Vampire Diaries, True Blood, all of that. And we don't really do genre here a lot. So in the BBC, we're like getting behind it. We're just like, yeah, let's do witches. We don't see. And then a discovery of witches came out. But, oh, that's finished. <laughs> <laughs> but now that's finished. It's fine. But yeah, we don't really do witches. Okay, I was originally in London, um, but the BBC like really wanted to represent sort of all the regions, and I was like, yeah, Manchester's a cool city. It's got like an attitude to it, and yeah, no problem. We can leave it there. process was long. I started working on it in 2018. So to finally, and obviously COVID happened during that as well. So to finally come to this set, this was our first day coming to this set and just seeing everyone here like doing something that, you know, working on something that I had written just felt yeah, really special. So I played Domino and I was drawn to it because I really really could empathise with Domino in the script. It reminded me of my own friends in a particular situation. Um, it just made me really sad, the idea of someone feeling so out of control um, and not having the resources to help themselves, even though they desperately want to help themselves, and not having any community um, to reach out to, to get some knowledge on how to help themselves and also not knowing their heritage. So again, as part of not having the resources to help yourself because you just don't know what the hell is going on and no matter how hard you try things like you, you can't unless you know what's happening, like there's just no way you can ever fix it or learn to manage it. And that felt very real world to me. It didn't feel like something was only existing in the supernatural world, but that's feels very, very rooted in real life and I just really empathised with anyone in that situation of not being feeling like you can't control yourself um, and trying to control it and not being able to. So it's about time it's um kind of dating and, and that type of thing and um just the perspective through witches, I feel like. I love drama. I think I've done projects in the past um, where it's been like, yeah, sometimes it's, it's a genre, but it's, it's grounded in, in themes that we can relate to and stuff. So I feel like, yeah, that was a big reason why I really want to be part of this. Why should people watch it? Why should they get on board and watch this show? It's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> It's also funny in moments as well, like the tea. Um, I just, yeah, I think tonally it's just a bit out there. People either love it or hate it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's very dramatic. <laughs> um, That's crying. <laughs> every day. Um, yeah, it's just very dramatic. It's 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 very are very much rooted in reality and you do not need to be a supernatural person <laughs> to um, experience these things. There are quite clear metaphors and a lot of the issues going on. Um, so it's it's very relatable as well. Yeah, expect the unexpected. Escapism. I mean, don't look at my face when you swallow this right now. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. um, I, think, I think it's going to surprise a lot of viewers and, and I feel like it's going to take people on a journey so yeah, I think definitely something that people should watch and yeah, hopefully they enjoy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, I mean, the power that is grounded and that we could do like special effects wise, like nothing too big like Discovery Witches did power really big. Um, but yeah, I just think it's like part of the character's identity as well, their sort of power. And you know, not, uh, Domino's journey to understand her power is like a big theme of the show. So you kind of surround her with all these other characters that sort of own their power. Already. Yeah. And it's what would your power be if you had a power? Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to fly. Oh, that's more a superpower, isn't it? Mm. I'd like to 
like if I, what's it called when, say I'm standing here and I can teleport. Teleport, yeah, that's what I'm I'll teleport. Yeah. I would do the same. Yeah. <laughs> Well, for me playing Domino, and I think I can only really speak from Domino's perspective, um, I feel like the overall lesson that she learns, or we want her to learn, or I don't know, the message of the thing is like, um, I feel like self knowledge is key. Um, you can't really start your journey to heal anything unless you know what's going mm -hmm. on, what yeah. the root cause of anything is. Um, uh, yeah, hopefully that, that comes across. Yeah. You're just finding the power. Yeah. Is there a redemption arc with Domino? What do you mean? Does she is she so I know she like feeds on people yes. initially. Is that something that progresses and she still does throughout of it? Throughout the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Stories. Everyone's got a story that they've and some of them actually sound supernatural themselves. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you just literally read it on paper, so I, th I think it's quite fun as well. You've never used them. I've not used them. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Doing research, like asking all my friends. <laughs> no, I think I think um, that's where the comedy comes as well, and I think it's quite like it just the way that we're moving and headed. I think for. Um, the, you know the audience. This is for this is target year for and stuff. Um, all of the stuff is like scary sometimes, isn't it? And it's just it's just mad. But yeah, I think the show um, takes all of that good stuff and just yeah tries to package it in, in one thing. Basically. So it's interesting because I like Dana's the way I've seen that because I I just thought like you put ghosts in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's true. I want my dating stories. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of me. Um, like real stories. Yeah, I, I mean, like, <laughs> I didn't date stories. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it's a spoiler, but there's some of the lines that uh, Domino's first date really? says to her. I've heard, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, does it? I mean, yeah, yeah. but wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a real, like, fetishization of yeah. mixed race. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've had a, a, one of the very few people that's had a really positive experience. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love dating apps. That's I love it. <laughs> I think they're great. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, um, and you become in Domino. Is there any like characteristics that you've been able to bring to her or even like clothing that is just so you? No. I don't think me and Domino are very similar at all. No, I don't. I, I, no, I can't. There's not really. Besides the fact that we physically look exactly the same, um, <laughs> I yeah. There's not. Uh, there's not really many uh, personality traits or interests or even style that is very me at all. Um, but I, I love what she wears and everything, and I love that she's like a cool tattoo artist, and I'm not good at any of that terrible drawing. Um, and I've not been through any anything like Domino, so no, I really, really, I, I had to, yeah, I, I, it's like not very similar, no. <laughs> no I, I, think, I think I am a little bit, you know, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. Because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably slipped yeah. in some really like corny jokes to you, maybe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you said it. Yeah, no. <laughs>
Um, but I've been so busy with this, and every, so every weekend I've just been like, I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I've been out like, probably maximum like four times I've been in since the end of February or beginning of March. Um, and I can't remember where I went. Um, we have a lot of food here. Really yeah, the food is really good here. And I'm vegans, so there's lots of vegan options here, which I'm very happy about. But there's a good, there's a nice vibe and culture, and I feel like it suits the show. I feel like, yeah, even the locations that we filmed at as well. Yeah, like, like, some yeah. of the stuff looks really cool. I think it really works well with like the tone of the show and the themes. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like it's made a nice backdrop for yeah, what you've created. Yeah. I really wanted to take some plants home. Plants? Yeah. I think everyone did. Yeah. Um, I just love plants. Oh, that's true. I don't know. And some witchy props, I'll have a look. <laughs> <laughs> the, everyone wears really, everyone has a really great fashion sense in the show. Okay. <laughs> the clothes are very, very cool. Um, so I'm probably going to go shopping in the wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> on the last day, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I think all of the cast have been like eyeing up. Mm -hmm. Oh, then that's what's happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to go into the costume department and be like, okay, what can I, what can I get? Yeah, no, I've got mine right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm good with this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>